Good morning and welcome to Miami and a brand new cruise vlog series as I board the fun-filled carnival celebration. Good morning, good morning, good morning and welcome to my hotel room here at Doubletree by Hilton at Miami Airport. I'm just about to check out and head for Cruise Terminal F to board Carnival Celebration. Let me just give you a quick glimpse of where I stayed last night and then we will head off. As you can see, the bags are packed and I am ready to go. Okay, I am at Cruise Terminal F. It is time to head on in. And luckily, it's not too busy here right now at the ship is uh, right behind me, behind the terminal building. And uh, I'm just gonna jump inside and get on as quick as I possibly can. Okay, security done. Onwards to get on the yeah. Okay, so I thought there was gonna be a bit of a waiting area before we get on, but um, looks like we're heading to get straight on the ship right now. And uh, there she is to my left. Okay, this is it people, that was really, really quick. I didn't expect it to be that fast at all. I really, really expected us to go into a waiting area as I was, uh, as I've got 11 to 11.30 boarding, but no, that didn't happen. Went straight to the security and we're gonna get straight on the ship now. Here we go. There you go, you ready to break? Okay, 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 I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on! Um, check out. Centre stage. Lots of shows are going to take place here. Have a look. Oh my god, I don't know what to do with myself, I'm so excited. Okay, it is 10 past 11, I'm on, I have done the muster and I am free to do whatever I want to do until the rooms are ready at 1.30. Look at this little fella. So I've had a quick look down on deck eight, now up on deck 16, and I'm gonna head up to 17, because I want some Guy's Burger, or some Shaq's Big Chicken. Let me just show you the view from up here. Had to be done. No carnival cruise is complete without a visit to Guy's Burger, and it had to be done on day one to avoid the hustle and bustle of all the uh, <laughs> buffet nonsense. So here it is, my Guy's Burger. As you can see, it's a little bit windy. Right, I'm going to dive in before it gets cold. So Guy's Burger done. Absolutely delicious. No surprises there. I'm now up at the ultimate playground and it's time for a first look at something I fully intend to get fully involved in. If only the internet were working because I can't seem to get on the Carnival Hub app yet. Can't sign into my internet plan until I get the room key and my folio number to sign in but the app is not working at all and that should always be working which is a little bit concerning because I don't want to miss my slot on Bolt because it sells out very very quickly. Anyway, here it is. Bolt 
the sea coaster. Right, there is a little bit of uh, mini golf going on here. And let's take a wander on round and see what else we can find. It's the kids splash area. Lots of water slides up there. Uh, let's take a walk towards the forward of the ship and see what we can find. That's obviously the walking and jogging track. And as you can see, Bolt wraps around the great big fat funnel. got the sports court approaching now. There it is on the right. And let's take a look over the side from up here on deck 18 down to the pool area. Um, can't see a lot because the tiki bar is covering a lot of it. I can get a better view this side. Yeah, that's a slightly better view. You can see the pool down there. Right, let's see what else we can find. I'm going to drop down a deck or two and see what's downstairs. Okay, I've dropped all the way back down to six and uh, here are the famous coins. And next up, this is somewhere that I think I'll be added up a fair number of times to sample one or 12 cocktails. And then here it is, not open right now, but here is the nightclub as well. And that's the Latitudes bar down there. Okay, let's go for a closer look at the gateway on deck six, shall we? Now I'm down on this deck. I think I may well be partaking in a little bit of action in this pool throughout the cruise with the lovely aft views. This is right on the aft of deck eight. Doesn't that just look deliciously inviting if the weather's nice and hot? Let's hope that it is. So breakfast was a guy's burger. Lunch is gonna be a bit of pizza from Miami Slice. There's no law about having breakfast and lunch less than two hours apart, right? Good. So I've had my guy's burger for breakfast and now it's time for pizza from Miami Slice and I've just watched it being cooked so I know that it's hot and fresh. Check this out. On the left there is La Habana and on the right a traditional pepperoni. It smells gorgeous. Now that was some seriously tasty pizza. Norwegian, take note. Wow 
how you do it. Rooms will be ready in about 25 minutes and then hopefully I can finally get on the internet. Belly suitably full and room ready. Let's take a quick look around my inside state. So it's 3.40pm and the last stragglers are just completing their muster that didn't do it earlier. Right, let's go and hit the sail away party I think. The plan was to go to Festival main dining room tonight, but with a wait of 30 to 40 minutes, I made the decision to come to Shebang instead, which was 10 to 20. It is a included specialty style restaurant serving Mexican and Chinese food, and I cannot wait. Here we are in Shebang then. A little bit dim in here so I put the light on for the first time I'm waiting to see the menu and all the delicious food I can grab I'm not going to turn the light on for this because I just want to quickly show you the menu and the screen is really bright so uh, it's on my phone so take a look and I'll scroll through So whilst I wait for the Chinese and Mexican food train to arrive, I've got a cocktail which is called Red Dragon and it's got tequila, rum and all sorts. And as you can see, it's bright pink. So um, I've ordered a little bit of the Chinese, a little bit of the Mexican and I've gone with the Chinese for the main and I've also no surprises here chosen two desserts that was very very quick for the food to come out so i've got chicken spring rolls and also those are the loaded nachos right this plate feels really hot but i don't want it to get cold so i'll see you shortly here we go then main is out and i've got an absolute table full so this is the singapore chili shrimp it comes with chow mein and jasmine rice I'm probably going to leave the rice while alone to be honest because it's going to be plenty with just the chow mein I think. Okay the Singapore chilli shrimp was absolutely delicious, I loved it. And the hacker noodles, not the chow mein that I said it was earlier, was really really nice. Um, I didn't have the jasmine rice because it was a little step too far. I had thought that it just came automatically with the dish and I looked at the menu and it's actually uh, both of them are side, so he decided to give me both of those. Seems like a bit too heavy on the carb from there, so I'm glad I left the jasmine rice to the side. Anyway, I digress. Desserts are here. We have the chocolate sea bang and also coconut tea tres leches. <laughs> Obviously the chocolate sea bang on the left and the tres leches on the right there. So let's see what these are all about. And there we go. Dinner at G-Bang all done. The desserts, uh, the chocolate sea bang. That was okay, a little bit cloy a little bit cloying. The coconut tea, tres leches. Yeah, it was quite nice. Um, not the best tres leches I've ever had. I think that award goes to the the one that I had on my last cruise but um, yeah not bad um, all in all a pretty good meal considering it's a complimentary restaurant um, just if you are thinking of coming here as well if you want to come and you dine uh, for free on your first occasion if you want to come back again 
then you pay eight dollars for each additional visit that you make. There you go, still very good value for what you get. It's time for a little bit of entertainment in centre stage and uh, at the moment it's a bit of a preview of the acts that are coming on throughout the week. Just time for a quick visit to the main theatre for Colour My World. No filming for this show. So after entertainment in the main theatre, great night, great day. And that is where we leave episode one. So join me on the next episode where we'll be on a sea day with lots of fun to get up to. If you haven't already, then do consider subscribing to the channel. And if you've enjoyed it, then drop a like. And if you have any comments or questions, then do leave them below. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next upload. Bye now. Dum, da, da, da.